just woke up. To this. <laughs> Holy moly, it was snowing last night and it was so pretty and delicate and quiet, but these, I mean, this is like next level snow. We haven't had this yet this year. Oh, it looks so pretty though. Look at the trees. Pinocchio. You got the towel ready there to be able to wipe your paws off. Are you ready to go outside? Okay. He said, yes, snow. So today I use the ColourPop Double Entendre palette. It's so pretty. I just really like that palette. I don't know, I know like all of their random good palettes keep like selling out, but then they'll come back in stock. So like the coconut one I've been loving, y'all let me know that it's back in stock. I'm pretty sure the double entendre one's in stock too. I just love it. Like this is a little bit warmer of a look, but it's got all the blending and transition colors you need. And anywho, and then I'm wearing my favorite highlighter, the MAC Double Gleam. It's a powder highlighter and it's, I've literally worn it like every day for months. I can't stop wearing it. Okay, these are those Rockstar jeans from Old Navy. I got a size six. I'm toggling right now between a four and a six, uh, just depending on where from. These have a little bit of stretch to them. I love this like worn, almost acid wash, but without actually being acid wash, but it's definitely like kind of got that 80s, 90s vibe I love. And it's, it's kind of the mid-ish high rise, but it's comfy. Like I was just wearing some high rise pants the other day that are tight. And I'm like, ugh, and it doesn't have to stretch. So I'm digging. So like I said, I got a size six in this if you think you might be similar to me, but they're comfy. There's like stretch, you can actually bend your legs. I feel like even with my beloved Target ones, sometimes they'll feel a little tight in the knee. So there's something to be aware of. If you felt like those were too tight, you might like the Old Navy Rockstar jeans. So, all right, I'll link them below, but I'm like pumped. Speaking of Target though, this is that Target sweater. I've talked about before it's so cute i love the like bell sleeve and it's just comfy it doesn't it looks scratchy it's not it's actually quite comfortable and i think they had a couple of colors so i'm actually going in for a quick haircut today at the salon i go to and i feel like i definitely need it it's looking a little straggly i usually go is it eight or 12 weeks i want to say 12 i was doing eight week every eight weeks for a while but it was getting just, just to be too much where i didn't feel like i needed it just yet Every 12 weeks seems to be the like good, good spot where my hair doesn't look too crazy before I go, but I definitely could use a trim. And I always tell her I'm so simple, I know, but recently I told her I really, I like having a little bit of the long layers, but I'd been wearing it, at least the last time I went, I'd been wearing it up in a ponytail a lot more. So I was like, I feel like I didn't like the way my hair looked in a ponytail. Like the layers just didn't sit right. So she cut it differently. I don't know what she did, but I liked it so much better. So hopefully we can do the same thing again today because it worked out well with both my curly hair and my like natural, no, my naturally curly hair and like when I do it this way. So that's nice. She said, mommy, I was in a very good mood this morning. So Hi, Daddy Rockstar. In very bright colors. Hi, so baby, who's that? Happy, happy mood. You had the best sleep. You needed a really good night's sleep last night. You look, you got sleepy eyes. Mm hmm mm hmm Hi, baby. You look so cute in your little fleece. I think I got that on Clarence at like the children's place or something. Thank you for getting her ready, Tyler. Mm -hmm. All right, I just need to throw shoes on and then I'll take her and go. I can pack her bag and stuff. So I just realized I still have the tags on these jeans. I should probably take those off. Um, so my mom and dad are watching her today. So I'm gonna, it's snowy, which you saw. So I'm like gonna drive really slow. Um, and I know Tyler was going to double check that we have all of our winter gear that we need in the car as well. But anyway, so I'm taking her over there and then I'm running to get my hair cut and then back to just work all day. So it's going to be a good productive day. If you saw yesterday's vlog, you know, I already made my really good to-do list and I am ready to tackle today. And this necklace, by the way, is a newer edition. Again, it was in my trunk club that I got last week and I don't remember the brand and it was kind of pricey, but I fell so in love with it because I liked that it had the few random studs, but then still a dangly piece. I don't know. I feel like it'd be a good layering necklace too, but I just like it on its own. So my mama, I just got over here to drop Gigi off and I told him I need to kill a little bit of time before I go to my haircut or else I'll be 30 minutes early. My mama's making eggs and Ma, what version of the eggs? Uh, Tyler's. 
Of course. They like look so good. Fold them and hopefully I didn't overcook them. <laughs> no, they look uh, so good. And we got some toast going. And Gigi's playing with Papa in the other room. A happy little morning. It's like driving through a winter wonderland today. It's so pretty. All right, hair is cut. She was like, do you want me to style it? I'm like, honestly, just blow it out because I need to get home and get work done. <laughs> but I love it. It's just a little bit shorter, a little bit healthier. And actually, I ended up buying something from there. It was the, they're like the line they carry at this salon is Kevin Murphy. And it's this leave-in repair. And she used it in my hair. And I was like, ooh, I like that. And I'm almost out of the leave-in conditioner I already have. So I was like, honestly, it's kind of perfect timing. So yay. It is noon, and instead of a real lunch, I ate cookies. <laughs> Tis the season to eat cookies for every single meal. <sighs> Guess what happened? So, Pinocchio happened. Pinocchio keeps getting up in the window constantly today. I don't know why. He thinks he sees something outside. There's nothing out there. But he literally, as Jessica said, you're going to pull those plants down. Sure enough. Because it's one of those real long... Yeah, the, like, he was, yeah. So we got the vacuum. We're going to try to clean it up. Did it break the pot? No, the pot's fine. Put a big dent in my desk. But... Yeah, which is more expensive, the desk or the pot? Oh, my gosh. Oh, Tyler, I'm so sorry. Coffee, 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 so I am having a quick lunch of like some fruit and then some of the egg salad from yesterday with some Ritz crackers. We have some leftovers we're gonna try to tackle. What are you that having? Egg salad yesterday? Yeah, I just said it. It did. I it. seriously thought that was today. I'm losing Whoa. Uh, I'm having some of the scoop leftover from the other night. Yum, yum, mm -hmm. yum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta love leftovers. Makes lunch a lot easier. Yeah. I must really be in the tea spirit because I am feeling some more tea. I want Zen tea, but I'm gonna do something else because I know you guys are gonna make fun of me. I'm just kidding. Um, actually, I might do I might do matcha tea. I have to be in the right mindset because it's a very grassy green tea. If that makes sense. But I mean, there's a lot of health benefits of matcha. If you asked me to rattle them off, I couldn't tell you, but I remember when I first bought it, I was like, oh, wow. So, I mean, really green tea in general, there are a lot of health benefits. So I think that's what I'm gonna have. And I now need to edit one more video, that Costco one. So yeah, that's what's going down. Tyler is running some errands right now and then he'll be picking Gigi up. And I'm excited to see her. And again, as usual, we gotta figure dinner out. We usually make like a little bit of a menu and we haven't done that because of the festivities and stuff and we really do need to sit down and do that because everything is easier when we have like three or four meals for the the week planned out we really do need to do that so i couldn't find where pinocchio was I found him. <laughs> oh pinocchio boy look at that waggly tail are you having your mid-afternoon snoozle mm-hmm so I'm gonna have a snack. It's getting a little bit later, but um, actually Tyler is out getting Gigi and it's the weather, it's the, the weather's just getting a little bit worse. So I'm like nervous and I want them to get home, but it's gonna be a while before we have dinner. So I'm gonna grab a snack. One of my favorites, I just get these mozzarella pearls. We had a bunch left over from our party, which <laughs> I'm okay with. Um, eating these with just cherry tomatoes. It's delicious. It's so easy. It's Healthier than, you know, me grabbing a bag of chips or something, but it's so good. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So I don't know if I've ever, sh no, I feel like I showed it earlier in Vlogmas. Our little recipe box. This was actually a gift from Tyler to me a few years ago. And it was so special because it's actually personalized and 
if he remembers where we got it, um, I'm sure I can find a link. But it's so cool because it's personalized and I, I'm sure it was pricier, but I love this so much. And so you get, of course, recipe cards. But what I think is cool, let me find one for an example. Of course, now I can't find one. So for example, it also came with this like, not stamp, but like a little punch that would punch in your personalized name there in that corner. So I just think it's so cool and such a unique gift, especially if it's someone that like actually uses recipes or likes to organize in that way. I told Tyler, I wanna get different organizers that stick up a little bit farther. You can buy these just clear recipe card uh, covers on literally anywhere, Amazon, whatever, for the right size card, which is nice because if you have the recipe out, and you're looking at it, um, comes with a little recipe card holder and you can stick the recipe card in it and put it up there and like look at the recipe. Sometimes I'm lazy and I just set it on top of that. But anyway, why am I showing you this? Oh, so what I'm making for dinner tonight is called Lemon Capellini and it's a simple recipe. There are a million versions of it online. I like Ina Garden's recipe or the Barefoot Contessa, but every time I make it, I have to look it up. It's really simple, but just to get the order right. And so... I figure this time I'm gonna look at the recipe, make it according to it, and then if it all works the way it usually does, I'm gonna write it on a card. So then I don't have to constantly be on the internet trying to find this really simple recipe. It's so good, it's so buttery and lemony. It is not a health food. I will say a lot of times we'll make pasta with like chickpea pasta or we'll make it with whole wheat pasta. For this recipe, I tried it all of the ways and it does not taste anywhere near as good with those other ones. I feel like in most pasta recipes, you can switch them out for the healthier versions, it's fine. For this one, it really is totally different. So I'm just using the classic old Capellini or angel hair pasta. And guess what we're watching tonight? Home Alone 2. <gasps> Who's home? Bye. Bye. Nice timing. Where is she? <gasps> Hi. <laughs> All I gotta do is get, wait, wait, oh, okay, wait. okay, okay. Back, okay. Like we're ready. What? Action. <laughs> so to finish off the dinner, I'm going to make just some steamed vegetables and uh, what else? Oh, I'm, I threw in some, it's actually the last four of Tyler's buttermilk biscuits he'd made. So that's good using those up and I'm just about to start the pasta and everything. So I only use half of the pasta thing uh, just because it ends up making so much and uh, melting butter. It calls for... Um, <laughs> two sticks of butter, which is so much, but actually we needed to use up this butter we had in a little container and then a stick of butter. So it's a little less than it calls for, but I mean, like I said, it's not a healthy one, but it is absolutely delicious. So I've salted and peppered, and then I'm adding freshly squeezed lemon juice. She does specify you really need to use freshly squeezed lemons. And then lemon zest, this actually calls for two lemons but I only had one, so we're just gonna make do. It's still gonna taste delicious. So once the pasta is cooked al dente, it says, to literally put it in the melted butter lemon mixture. So I just kind of scooch it over. And if the pasta ends up a little dry, once you've kind of stirred it, you can add some of the pasta water that's got all that starch in it. You guys, I can't express to you enough, this literally took like five minutes. The, the thing that took the longest was literally getting the water to a boil and or like juicing the lemon. That's it. And then I salted and peppered and voila, that is it. I'm starting to think I should have used more of the pasta because this is like way more buttery than normal. But at the same time, I'm like, mm, but that's not such a bad thing. <laughs> and they're all wet because I just washed them. But this is what I use. Like this little microplane zester is awesome for zesting things. You can use it for a lot of, I've even used it for cheese, like if we're just quickly grating some Parmesan on top of something. This is amazing. And then this is the lemon juicer we use. I'm sure it was pretty inexpensive on Amazon. Um, I know they sell like electric ones, but we don't juice things like that often enough to ever make it worth it. You know what I mean? So we're about to go eat, but we've got everything. This is probably too much food. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm pretty hungry. Like I might only have one of the biscuits, but regardless, yeah, I know you're like starving. Pinocchio, he's helping with the dishes. So I am, we're finishing up Home Alone 2, we just had dinner, and I'm writing out the recipe card for the lemon cappellini, but I will put the link below for the actual recipe because I'm literally pretty much copying it just from there. Joe Pesci. Jersey Boys. Have you, have you guys ever seen Jersey Boys? There's a movie of it too. 
I'm pretty sure the musicals rated R have lots of language. There is a lot of language. Um, <laughs> Pinocchio has already eaten dinner. He's trying to tell us that he's Pinoc. not a sneaky dog. <laughs> um, but Joe Pesci is a character in that show from real life. From yeah, in real teenager. life, he really and like he, knew Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Like yeah. he was like the neighborhood kid, and uh, and, and that's then true. He turned into be famous for from... different reasons. <laughs> He's Joe freaking Pesci. Joe Pesci. And I think during the show, it literally says, this is Nate, Joe Pesci. Yeah, that Joe Pesci. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is my accent good? Me, 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 me. Pinocchio, you have had dinner, buddy. Oh, buddy. He has very sad eyes over there. You can see them? Oh, my gosh. No, we're sad. I love when he's looking at us and he's going under to look at us, to look us in the eye. We uh, played with him downstairs in the basement, and he was very happy. He was chasing. He was a pizza mouth dog. Don't come in. Say hi. Okay. So what are we doing? I don't like this. You're not hungry. <laughs> oh, buddy boy. Is that me in the middle of the street? No, sweetie, it's about that time. <laughs> anyway, so um, we still need to clean up. We've just got like junk all over our island. Um, but oh, I wanted to show you guys. Uh, our friends Emily and Ben got us a little uh, hosting gift from Friends Miss, and they had wrapped it and hidden it under the yeah. tree. Because I was literally, I was crawling around so with Gigi, and I saw it, and I was like, what is this under the tree? And I'm like, it didn't say it was where wrapped. It, it was from. wrapped up, yeah. And it's just, I was like, did you get this? What is this? And she's like, no. And then I thought, yeah, I thought he was playing with me. I'm like, what is it? Like a secret surprise gift? That's what and I thought. He's like, it was. I guess it is, but not for either of us. So we ripped it open like monsters. Yeah. Anyway, that was so, also, so sweet. Also, I have very exciting news. Something that happened today that you guys didn't find out about until it's here. Got something. I technically got you something. Well, that's true. Jessica got me something. I picked it out. And went and bought it. <laughs> but it's my Christmas gift from Jessica. As long as I'm getting my kitchen table on a new couch. Well, yeah. Well, we already got the, we already got the table. Actually, yeah. I'm really pumped about that. I'm not, I don't want to rush it on the couch because yeah. I want to find the right one. I don't want to settle. I want to... Yeah. We can take our time. Anyway, so... So just a couple more days. We're not pregnant, don't worry. Yeah, I know. That every, every, every time we're like, oh, we have a surprise, we're like... Pug, pug, pug. But it's, um, not, it's, not, it's not that. Don't it's get not excited. That. Yeah. Um, don't get that excited. I am very... Or maybe you wouldn't be excited. I don't know. I am very excited. <laughs> I'm excited for you. How'd you do that? I don't know. I hate it. Anyway, uh -huh. all right. So we're gonna go get all cozy. We've got some tea. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys. Remember how we were talking about how the tea with valerian root gives me nightmares, and some of you guys were like, "Yes, me too," and others were like, "No, not me. Not me, dog. Nah." But I was looking at causes of nightmares last night before bed, and I did not have any tea with valerian root. <laughs> I don't mess with that stuff. Ten foot pole. Just <laughs> so I'm looking up all these ways that nightmares are caused. And guess what? Tyler, no. I had three separate awful nightmares. They were very different, and I like woke up in between each. And I'm like, what is going on? And when you have one nightmare, you wake up and you're like, well, that was awful. Let me like look at my phone or like read or like leave the room because you gotta like shake it from your mind. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you just keep playing it over and over again here. Or I have the fear of like falling back to sleep and diving right back into the story where I left off. Long story short. Story. It happened three times, three separate stories. It was awful. Ugh. Anyway. I'm convinced that Jessica doesn't actually sleep at all. Because I wake up in the middle of the night and I kind of look over and she's always on her phone. doesn't matter what time it is. You I don't make think me sound sleep. like a psycho. Yeah, that's where I'm going. <laughs> no, I always sleep. It's just that, you know, when you wake up in the middle of the night? Yeah, every when time. When I wake up. And you're no, but you're that's, it's because of me that you just wake up. Every time I look up. It's like once a week. What's I just can't sleep in the middle of the night. <laughs> Is it 2 a.m., 5 a.m., 1 a.m., 4 a.m., 3 a.m.? I'm matter. up at 2. I'm Jessica's up till awake. 5. I can't get back to sleep. Awake looking over at her phone. Uh, sometimes I'm reading. Thank you very much. And last Something's night, I got, got a lot of Game of Thrones Something's read. Something's got a light on it. That's all I know that's going on over there. I'm like, well, Jessica doesn't sleep. She's awake. <laughs> and just looking at a glow She's stick. a vampire. No need for sleep. Wait, do vampires not sleep? Is that a thing? They sleep during the day, go bite necks at night. <laughs> so then they do still sleep. What doesn't sleep? Jessie's What's the opposite of a bear? I get that big Jessica energy. I don't need to sleep. <laughs> apparently. I don't know. Well, apparently. Anyways. Trees? Do trees not sleep? Jessica's a tree. She doesn't sleep. I'm as old as a tree. 
Oh, Cut me open. <laughs> Look at my oh, rings. <laughs> right, we need to sign off. All right. Good night, guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.